as the question says a simple pendulum of length l having a bob of mass m is deflected from its rest position by an angle theta and released the string hits a peg which is fixed at a distance x below the point of suspension and the bob starts going in a circle centered at the peg then assuming that initially the bob has a height less than peg show that the maximum height reached by the bob equals its initial height and then if the pendulum is released with theta equal to 90 degrees and x is l by 2 find the maximum height reached by the bob above its lowest position before the string becomes slack then find the minimum value of x by l for which the bob goes in a complete circle about the peg when the pendulum is released from theta equal to 90 degrees now what's happening in this question is that this pendulum is released from an angle theta it comes to its vertical position like this almost doing a part of shm motion comes here and this is a peg or a hook sort of thing we can say so this string comes in contact with this and what happens is that in the next uh, part of this motion this becomes a circular motion about this peg that means this much of the length that is x part of l will be along this peg while the rest that is l minus x will make a circle on which this simple pendulum will actually move right so this is all happening in a vertical plane so let us work out this problem proceeding with the part a in which we need to find out the maximum height now friends here right now let us take the points if this being the initial point a and the maximum height reached by this is point b then so the total energy at a must be equal to total energy at b now what's total energy at point a it will be the kinetic energy at a plus potential energy at a and similarly at b it will be kinetic energy at b plus potential energy at b now we all know that as this bob will reach the maximum height its velocity will obviously be zero that means that the kinetic energy will be zero so it will be zero on both the sides so we can say that the potential energy at a equal to potential energy at b and if we take this to be the reference then we can say that the height will be the same hence the maximum height for the bob will be equal to the initial height because the potential energy need to be the same right now proceeding with the second part of this question in which they have assumed that the theta is 90 degrees while x is l by 2 and we need to find the maximum height reached by the bob when before the string becomes slack now slack is when the tension in the string becomes zero right so let us draw the diagram of this question in which it will be roughly like this hanging from here this being the peg this being the point where the tension becomes zero in this circular motion right now let this angle be alpha with the vertical and this is actually the height it has come down because it has been released from the angle 90 right so framing the equation here we can easily say that half m v square if this point is assumed to be point c then it will be v c square minus initial kinetic energy which was zero because it was dropped from here equal to the work done by the gravitational force which will be mg into change in height now this difference height h will be this thing and this will be l by 2 minus l by 2 cos alpha right so from here we can write it out that vc square is equal to gl into 
वन माइनस कॉस अल्फा मार्किंग इट एज इक्वेशन नंबर वन लेट एस प्रोसीड नाउ हेयर वी विल बी हैविंग बॉब लाइक दिस सो एम जी फोर्स विल बी डाउनवर्ड्स सो द कॉस अल्फा कॉम्पोनेंट विल बी देयर अलॉन्ग द सेंटर सो द सेंट्रिपिटल फोर्स विल बी एम वी स्क्वायर बाय आर वेर आर इज एल बाय टू ओवर हेयर इक्वल टू एम जी कॉस अल्फा मार्किंग इट एज इक्वेशन नंबर टू एंड इक्वेटिंग वी सी स्क्वायर फ्रॉम इक्वेशन नंबर वन एंड टू वी गेट कॉस अल्फा इक्वल टू टू बाय थ्री now we need to find the highest position because they have asked is the maximum height reached by the bob so we need to find this position from here from the lowest point so all this height capital h has to be calculated and so we can write it as capital h equals to this distance l by 2 plus this distance from this triangle as L by two cos alpha, right? Putting the value of cos alpha as two by three, this gives us as five L by six. So this is that maximum height. Now proceeding with the third part of this question, which is find the minimum value of x by L for which the bob goes in a complete circle about the peg. Now when will this bob will complete? this will be when this alpha becomes zero that is this tension becomes zero at the highest point because after that that momentum will make it rather compel it to complete the motion so what happens is that is this alpha actually becomes zero in that case so writing the equation as the centripetal force being mv square by r and the r will be l minus x because this is the radius This is L minus x equal to m g cos alpha. Now here alpha is zero, so cos alpha is one, giving us the equation m v c square over L minus x equal to m g, and marking it as equation number three. Let us now apply the energy work energy theorem between the points. A and the point C, which is the final point. Writing it down, we can write half m v c square as the final kinetic energy minus zero, the initial kinetic energy, into m g into height. Now, what the height will be? Now, height will be this whole length, that is l, minus th when this will reach the maximum height. it will be l minus x this this will be the x part l minus x plus this will be l minus x so twice of l minus x will be subtracted right this will be twice of l minus x so from here we get f v c square equal to 2g into 2x minus l and marking it as equation number 4 and equating again v c square from equation number three and four, we get x by l equal to three by five equal to point six. So the x by l should be at least point six for this bob to complete this whole circle.